Aurora, you know I love you dearly, more than anything in this universe. But as much as I appreciate your efforts to help me develop into a well-rounded and kind individual, I would appreciate you encouraging our revenge and carnage infinitely more. You're supposed to support me no matter what I do, especially if it's being a bad person. Enable my bad decisions, you stupid cat! Be the parents we never had. Aurora meows in indignation, wanting no part in her master's wrongdoings. Ronan rolls her eyes, having abandoned pacifism long ago. Revenge is wrong? <laughs> Look no. that! That attitude's for no. Don't you remember who put you in this position in the first place? Before we decided to leave, there were players calling you... Ectopo... Cat, because of this book. Super Cane Filters didn't pick up on it either! Miguel grumbles in frustration. I don't understand how those humans made so many typos in a couple hundred thousand lines of code. Truly incompetent. Like, just read it over. It's not that hard. My cat stares at the demon with a flat look, eyebrow arching upward, and her master coughs sheepishly before saying, <clears throat> D Don't look at me like I'm some sort of Karen, okay? I'm just upset. Anyways, we need to focus on getting your body back now. I know that you think that you can just stay like this, all ethereal, because there have been no major problems so far, but what about later? Huh? It doesn't work how you think. Rana spits out as she stares at Aurora's translucent body, expression hardening. We don't know how long this form of yours will last. It could be years, months, days. If you could get into this state in the first place, what more can happen? I don't want to risk it. I won't. I'm not budging on this, Aurora. The demon swallows hard, nails digging into her palms. We've been together so long, I... I don't even know how to be without you anymore. I can't. What'd you have me do, huh? I don't even like thinking about it. Just... Please don't leave me. I'm begging you. If you sense something's wrong, I don't care how small. Just tell me as soon as possible. Promise me. <laughs> you know, ever since you've been like this, I just... I keep reliving our first meeting over and over again in my head and my dreams, hoping to go back to that time. She sighs, and there is a slight tremble in her voice as she says, I almost wish I could live in it. That feeling of overwhelming familiarity. Of finding your other half. Rana blinks her tears away rapidly, changing the subject. Uh, and look, it's also about... Payback! You know, for all the suffering that we've endured this far. You put up with far too much from those stupid devs anyways, am I right? And do you remember how badly they nerfed me first patch because people were so shit at the stupid game? She looks at a war expecting sass, but her partner's ears are drooped, and she's as quiet as a mouse. What's wrong? Jeez! See, look! Now we're both sad, dumbass! If you didn't argue with me about this in the first place, then we wouldn't be upset! Ugh, stop crying! Here, have this fish jerky. Stop pouting and just eat it already! Hey, Rana's tone hardens, body tensing up. Aurora rises from Rana's shoulder, tail stiff and fur bristling. They stare far into the distance, focused as they sense the same powerful energy. Something is nearby. Something... big. <laughs> Do you sense that? <gasps> Maybe today is our big break, Aurora. Let's get going. She grins, scratching the cat's chin. She mules in agreement as they set off. No. One step closer to their goals. <laughs>